Jules here from Jules Designs and JT Creations. So I decided to do um, a waterfall card with my Winter's Tale digital kit, but I didn't want a total um, full waterfall because I had 18 pages. So what I did was We'll ignore the, the cover first. So the first page, I put it in the scoreboard and what I did was I cut my A4 papers down to 29 centimetres um, because they had borders on them, but when I measured it, it was 29 centimetres. So the first one I took and I scored it at eight and a quarter and folded it. Then I took it and scored it at eight, folded it and put it inside. Seven and three quarters and put it inside and came down in three quarter inc increments till I got to, I think it was five. Right, so I've got so that's eight and a, three quarters, seven and a half, seven and a quarter, seven, six and three quarters, six and a half, and six. And then it was five and three quarters was five and three quarters, five and a half, yeah. And then that was it. Now, what happened was I still had some papers left. So I folded them up and because of the journal, because I'd made some pages in the journal, I wanted those as pages. So I cut them, scored them at, at five and a half and put them in. Now, what happened was that left a row of sort of like, um the rest of the the waterfall and it was going to be too wide i didn't want that so what i did was i trimmed them off level with the the papers that were folded in half then i took one of the papers and i scored it at eight so that it went down there and then i scored it here i just all i did was i put it on the scoreboard and scored it next to that and then give a quarter inch and scored it again and then I folded those over and that made like a flap so when you actually look at this it looks like a waterfall journal but it has several pages at the back I like a full journal um, I also like the waterfall journals so what I decided to do was combine them both together and I thought it was quite a, a nice idea so I can still have all the elements of the waterfall and all the elements of the the normal digital um so what I want to do now is I want to put some lace on these now I'm not going to put them on on this cover that's not the actual folder that it's going in, it's not the cover, but it is like a folder and I will do some little bits and pieces to that. Now what I have got is I've got some, my colours are pink and they are blue and mint, but I don't have any pale blue and I think it would just be too much. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this broidery anglaise um, along the sheets. I might put the odd pink one in, but I want to keep it more or less all the same. So what we'll do is we'll start doing that now. I'm taking the, the journal part of it out and I'm just sitting that there and I'm using Fabri-Tac. In fact, what I'll do is I'll get my messy mat in because I don't want my 
desk covered in fabric tack and what I'll do is I'll work on these at a time and I will rub that out. So just a, a bead of, of fabric tack. And then we'll put this on. And I'm just putting it on for about a quarter of an inch. And then we'll trim that off there. Should have got my material scissors out, but never mind. And then the next one what I'll do is I'll do them all the cream that I've got two four six eight ten eight, I've got eleven so what I'll do is I'll do every third one pink and again just a thin bead of fabric tack and I'm just going over it so it's not too you can go over it with your finger and again I'm just taking it into about a quarter of an inch that's a bit too much on that side it gives you a bit of wiggle room And I will stitch these down as well. And once it's dry, I'll trim it up properly. And I said every third one I would do in this pink. And again, this is broidery anglaise, so. So just a thin bead of glue. Work out which is the that's the back. There's always a um a front and a back with embroidery anglaise, and you'll know because it just the embroidery on it um one's more finished off. hope everybody's good today I'm um, just slowly getting ready to go and see all the family before we go out to Cyprus and we're going out on New Year's Eve um, for three months so we're quite looking forward to that obviously I'm taking my craft stuff with me so I will be doing videos out there That's the right way. And while we're in Cyprus, we will go back to Salamis, um, spend a couple of days, a couple of nights in Salamis. Um, that's in North Cyprus. And, but we're going to a different part. Um, where we're staying, we normally stay in Argaka. We're still not far from Argaka. Um, we're staying in a place called um, Polis Lachi, which is just a little bit down from it. Right, so my Fabritax decided to play up and bubble up, as it does. And what I did, another thing I did with the digi kit was I um, I printed it on both sides, but because there is um, a top and a bottom, 
I had to watch and rearrange my papers so that, because this one is the same, although the, the wee D has been cut off. Um, and that's too far down. So I'm just pulling this down a bit. So we're looking forward to staying there somewhere different. We like the place that we stay at in in Agaka. It's very quiet and, and it's a great big huge villa. It's a four bedroom. Um, but we're going for a, a slightly smaller villa this time. It's three bedroomed. <laughs> it's still got a pool and everything. And Cyprus round about that time of year is similar to a Scottish summer. Um, you get your, your hot days and you get your cool days. So but it's a lot warmer than a Scottish winter. And that's what we go for. My husband calls us snowbirds. So we're going to travel down south um, to go and spend some time with my son. Oh, that should have been a pink one, never mind. So we'll put the pink one on this. Um, I'm going to spend some time with my son and his wife and the, the four children. See them before Christmas. Um, we're going to see going right up the top of Scotland to see um, our daughter, spend some time with, with them. And they've got four children as well, so that'll be all go. And then we'll see our other daughter. She's just got the one. Uh, when we're going down south because we're going to stop in overnight and break the journey up. We were going to fly down but we decided we'd drive. Flying's a lot easier, it's only 55 minutes but then it's a chew going to the airport, waiting to hire your car and uh And if there's delays, so we just decided to drive. And it's my, one of my grandson's birthday today because I'm doing this on the 18th of October. So he's 19. So we're going up to see him. Um, today before he goes out for a meal, family meal. So he's working now. It doesn't seem that long ago that I was making space cards and things like that for him because he was right into space and make them as interactive as I possibly could. <laughs> Now he just gets a, just make a card with happy birthday grandson on it. <laughs> All right, we'll do. I'll do another cream one and then I'll do the. The last one is the pink one. Yeah, 
Okay, so when we go out to Cyprus, I'm going to go around the thrift shops and things like that and see if I can find any scavenge anything for crafting. Um, there's a couple that we know of, so that should be fun. So I go around the thrift shops and my husband goes and has a coffee. He's not, he's not into shopping. He just likes sitting and reading and having a coffee and I just go and sit with him and have a coffee now and again and then go around the shops. <laughs> I'm going to take this up a little bit. So. And that's that. So there we have the the waterfall card. And as I say, I will stitch around it and I think I'll use um, bl blue and green. Um, I need to keep them separate and then that goes in there. And it all goes in there and that one goes in there like that. Yeah, so it's quite nice. Um, but we need to put some blue on it somewhere. Um, I do have some blue sari silk. So what I might do is I might do like a wee... I got this just to tie round but what I might do is I might do some end of page scrunchies as well just to to sort of like sit in little parts so I hope you enjoyed that hope you get something out of it so it's just a case of your waterfall card it's deciding what size what width you want your front page and then you know fold it at that and then you can go down in quarter inch increments or centimeter or half inch you know it depends how how much you wanted i just wanted quarter inches um so that it looks like a waterfall and then we'll get some bows and baubles and things like that so i will see you in the next video thank you for joining me